E. E. All right, all right. Ish. Thank you. Hello, besties. What's up and welcome back. So today, guys, we are making a multi-purpose liquid soup. This soup can be used for dishes. You can use it for your laundry, for your mopping up floor, washing your car, washing anything washable. Like this soup, it just everything you need. It's a multi-purpose soup. That means you can use it for a variety of things. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I made a 15 liters multi-purpose liquid soap so by the way we if you hear any other voice aside my please just know it's my baby that is in the background blabbling i'm tired of hiding i don't even know any safe place to make this voiceover i just have to do it in my room so please pardon me i am a mama sitter <laughs> So to begin with, you need your water. You need enough water to start this process. The amount of liquid soap you will be getting depends on the quantity of water you and add. also depends on the amount of chemical you got from the market. If you go to the chemical shop, you must tell them how many kg of soap so you want to make. So they will give you according to your desired kg that you want to make. So for me, I bought the one of 10 liters. But that doesn't mean you will have only 10 liters of water with you. You should have extra as the amount come handy during the process. So firstly, you will be needing your nitrosol. Your nitrosol is your first um, a chemical that you'll be adding. So you get a very clean water, then add your nitrosol and turn it very well. Then after that, you will be needing your caustic soda then you add the caustic soda to the water after that turn it very well and then it will give you this kind of thick um liquid are you seeing that that is after adding the caustic soda please make sure you turn it very well so well. that your soap will not come out looking all on please and all turn it very well and please use gloves now the next chemical we'll be working with is sls get a bucket of add like two liters of water and then pour in your sls this chemical looks like rice it's called the rice chemical because it has shape of grains like the shape of rice make sure you turn it very well this thing is a full booster turn it very well turn it very well and after that you'll be missing your jelly like a uh, chemical which is called tesapol mix it into the water into the water where the sls is like list the both of them very well and make sure you turn it because if you don't turn it your soap will not come out well so as you can see in the video i'm trying to bring out every single thing in the line on of that tesla bond then mix it very well with the sls before adding it to your base so after mixing it then before adding it to the base this is the one that i missed earlier do you understand so now i'll be adding the sls and the tesapon into the bucket that has the main base like that has the main soup stuff okay? and now here the next turning have to come and here you have to do a lot of turning like here you have to turn 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 until your soap is looking all good and transparent before you add your next chemical the next chemical is stpp you have to get another bucket add like two liters of water then add S your tpp make sure it is well dissolved before pouring it into your main base so this is my i have dissolved it and now pouring it into the main base be careful with these chemicals don't let them touch your skin or your body they can be really harsh on your skin so be careful now after adding the the stpp my base became very very thick it increased it like it doubled in size so as you can see my buckets can no longer carry the soap so before i will continue i need to change it okay got it look it's getting really really full getting really thick so you have to turn you have to turn turn it very very well don't even sleep on it
So I requested for a bigger bath before or we'll continue with the other chemicals remaining because my 70 liters bucket can no longer carry this. Mm -hmm. So the next chemical we are working with is sulfonic acid. This will make your soup dry. Like I mean it. At this point, my soup was almost like pouring from the bucket, so I had to turn it immediately to the bigger bath. My bad. So After the adding the sulfonic acid, the soap became really thick, very foamy. Like I have to um, turn. At this point, you need to turn very well. You need to turn until the whole thing turns plain and the bubbles are no longer that much because look at how thick it is and that thing you are seeing white that whitey stuff they are all foam so you need to turn until it becomes plain then you know that you are almost there When this soap is not playing like this, you can go around and add your scent and then continue turning until your soap becomes uh, really transparent and less bubbles or in short no bubbles at all and at the same time now if you feel your soap is too thick please go on and add some more water if you feel it's too thick okay it's, you can be flexible with the water there are no big rules on that and then add your 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 coloring your color can be anything you prefer it must not be green it's it can be pink, it can be red, it can be any color. Okay, even without adding the color, your soup is ready to be used. But for you know to make it look perfect, you must add color. So please, you can add, you can uh, dissolve your color. It always comes in powdered form. You can dissolve it in water before adding to your soup, or you add direct. So I see people say that dissolving in water before adding will make it look more even. And yes, I think that is right. So it will make the color look more even inside the soap. Okay, so that it won't be looking breaking like a broken bottle. So you dissolve it before. And voila, this is my soap after 24 hours. <laughs> so this was the next morning. I went to shake kid and it was all looking very good you know how it was looking when we made so it this now? was it after 24 hours and the green is now so pure so beautiful like so even so perfect and guys i'm so happy i made 15 liters of soap for my family we'll be using this to do our laundries to wash dishes to mop the floor you know to do a lot i wouldn't be buying so for i don't just do but i know this is going to last us for a good time okay so guys let me know what you think and if you find this video helpful please subscribe my name is casey and you are welcome to casey's world i appreciate you I all my best we'll do it it's yeah. a multi-purpose soap like look at this Hey, this is 15 liters of soap and I bought the one of 10 liters and this 15 liters that I made it's still very very thick look at it. it's still very thick if I wish to add more water I can still add water but I don't want to I love this consistency look at the same time very proud